We had our hailstorm, I don't know, it's been five or six years now, Chris. October 2011. Okay, yes. so um, a little more than five or six <laughs> years. Uh, uh, but I don't, did we get golf ball size hail then? Gosh, I know we got quarter size yeah. hail. And, That's something. Uh, yeah, my old car had the little divots in there Mine too. on the rooftop yeah. there for many years afterwards. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, no hail out there, no yeah. thunderstorms uh, today. Yeah. Just a lot of smoke and haze and ash in the skies, and that is... Uh, that's continuing here for a while. Temperatures actually dropped down a little tiny bit this afternoon. A little bit of delta breeze kicked on up, and all that smoke and haze and ash in the air starting to act like a bit of a cloud and starting to knock those temperatures down. It should be hotter than this, but the combination of that little bit of a delta breeze and all that smoke, even cloudy skies out there basically, has kept our temperatures in the 90s today. Uh, 99 in Reading is hot, but I think without the Delta Breeze and that smoke, we would easily have been in the triple digits, 104, 105 or so. Uh, 96 today at Red Bluff, 94 in Chico, 95 in Oroville, 95 in Chester, 98 in Bernie, and 94 the afternoon high temperature in Mount Shasta City, 96 in Quincy. Let's take a live look outside and well, I'll show you, I don't know what we're showing you. It's, it's Lake Oroville, but you can barely see it here in this shot here from our Bloomer Hill camera looking down upon it. Normally, the lake is just beautiful to see, and then you can look off in the distance, and on a really clear day, you can see the Sutter Buttes off in the background. You can barely see the lake right now. That's crazy low visibility because of all the smoke and haze and ash in the air, and this is all going to continue until those fires are put out. I'm looking at our forecast for tomorrow. Now, smoke and haze and ash continuing. Temperatures not bad at 8 in the morning, around 70. Noontime, around 90. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, upper 90. So maybe a smidge warmer tomorrow compared to today. So temperatures heating up a little bit this week. But again, all that smoke starting to knock our temperatures down a little bit. And those smoky skies continuing. We'll cool down a little bit this weekend. Before we get to the weekend, well, here we go again. Another fire weather watch in effect for the Sacramento Valley, the surrounding foothills, the Shasta Valley, and the Sierra Nevada as well. Starting Thursday afternoon, going into Saturday evening. This is the precursor to a uh, red flag warning, just saying fire conditions could be very extreme yet again. Main threat will be the gusty winds potentially de de developing 10 to maybe 20 mile an hour gusts developing by Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. Visible satellite image showing all the smoke here from the car fire, from the Mendocino complex, even a little bit of smoke from the Donald fire down in the south of us, starting to pump northward here as well. So lots of fires nearby, and we've got lots of smoke and ash out there, and that's all going to continue. High temperatures tomorrow, middle and upper 90s in Trinity and Siskiyou counties, and in the Sierra and the Cascades, and the smoky skies continuing. High temperatures on the ridge, low and mid-90s tomorrow, 95 in Paradise, and still smoky out there. Smoky in the north end of the valley tonight. Low temperatures in the mid-60s. Highs tomorrow back to the triple digits. 103 in Redding, 102 in Red Bluff. In the mid-valley overnight lows in the low 60s. Smoky tonight and tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow in the upper 90s. And your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast. The weekend is always in view. Showing middle and upper 90s continuing for Chico. And that smoke and haze continuing as well. Redding in the triple digits over the next couple days, dropping a little bit over the weekend, and the smoky skies continuing. A lot of hazy there. Yes, it is. Thanks, Chris. Still ahead on Action News now at 5.